Hey everyone, my name is Danny Valdez. I am a location sound mixer recordist in Tucson, Arizona. And what I have here is a sound cart that I made slash constructed from a uh, Triad Orbit stand and some other accessories. Um, two of which is what's known as their IO desk. And the IO desk uh, has all these holes in it, as you can see, and they're all tapped with 3 8 And there's also some, I think these holes here are 5 8 the one with the little button on there. But anyways, it comes with um, a lot of hardware and, and ways of attaching things to the desk in whatever way you want to do it. You can put a laptop on here or whatever. And what I have here is a MIDI controller and a keyboard that I use with my sound devices, uh, Mix Pre 6 and Mix Pre 3. So what I wanted to do is have it as pre-assembled as possible. So what I do is I uh, have these, uh, the keyboard and the MIDI uh, controller uh, clamped down. There's this uh, kind of washer thing with a spongy uh, material under it. And uh, that screws down into the hole and then that holds that on there really secure and it's also safe for uh, the controller and the keyboard so I keep those attached to the IO desk and have them in a, a bag that I uh, transport them in and then uh, I just snap everything together as far as the desks onto the stand and for those of you familiar with uh, Triad Orbit maybe wondering how these desks are offset. So what I have here is a uh, monopod ball head uh, tripod quick release um, at the very forefront there. And then I have um, one of their collets and a 3.8 stud and some other hardware. So I just kind of worked my way outward into the um, distance that I wanted to project this um, bottom tier to. And then I can get to it really easy as well as the keyboard. And uh, I'm really happy with this came out. So like I said, a lot of things come with the IO desk, a lot of accessories and uh, whatnot. There's this uh, silicone straps that come with it. And this little thing here screws down and it has a groove in it. And then you can secure this uh, stretchy silicone uh, strap down into it however way you want to. And then what I do is I use that for my sound bag and it's really secure I and mean, you could shake it and it's it's solid but it comes off easy too you just you just pull them off because they stretch and the system of the of triad orbit uh, of all their accessories is based on a, a, a really nice locking system so what I have here is a straight pole that I had already had and uh, I had already had the stand to use for something else, but I changed my mind and use it for the sound card. So this pole here attaches, and I'm going to put a uh, RF boost shark fin on top of that. And you can actually attach um, a pole just like it on top of that and go even higher if you need to. Uh, so you have the option to do that with this. And then what happens is, is you, you pull this collar up like this, and then you just pull this right off, and it locks really secure. So what I have here is a way of attaching an umbrella. The umbrella has a hollow handle and that goes into this bolt here and then I clamp it like that. And that stays on the desks um, as I travel as well as uh, this uh, USB cable that um, I use for the uh, the MIDI controller and the uh, the keyboard because I have to switch the two USB cables because um, you can't use them simultaneously so that just stays secured on there. So some of the things that I do take off is um, I have this if this is actually a mic clip that you uh, use on stage or when you want to you know lead singer has a mic and they want to release it and then uh, you uh, get away from the mic stand. And then that is attached with a mini quick release plate. So this whole section comes off and relieves the height that this has. 
and gets back down to the level of just a keyboard and the desk. So easy storage. I don't have to get something bigger just to compensate for this. So um, have my boom pole in that so I can have it nearby and not have to lay it down on the floor or wherever because we all run into that situation sometimes. Um, and then what I have down here is I cut the bottom of a sports bottle I got from a second hand store and then I, uh, I drilled through that and then I have that secured onto this leg um, permanently. And the leg is solid, these stands are heavy and they're meant to be that way so they don't tip over because what you can do is you can step on these uh, right here and with your foot and the leg will pivot upward like that and you can do one leg at a time and lean the stand into something and the stand won't tip over because it's heavy. And then um, I bought these wheels separately. They're really awesome. They have these um, foot locks to lock it in place if you want. They work really well. I added this uh, bike light here because I thought it'd be good for safety um, in a dark area. And I have a few of those. I can put one on, e on each leg. So we'll come around to the back here to see what I did. <clears throat> and uh, I thought it'd be good to have a handle on here, even though I can just grab it by the, the, the pole in the middle, the stand, and push it around on the wheels. But I got this uh, used Manfrotto pan tilt handle um, for about 20 bucks. And because it goes straight down into that and then angles outward, I knew that it would be a good, a good fit for this. And it worked out perfectly, and I just guessed at it. And then what I have here is a giant lithium battery which is actually used for uh, photography lights and since I'm a photographer I already had it and I thought it'd be nice to have on here um, you know just thinking what are all the things I can attach to this so this is good for um, if I need to charge something if I don't have time or I can um, go to my AC adapter for my sound devices or charge my phone it has a USB input or other people can use it if they're in a jam you know, because why not? And I have a couple of these, but this on a shoot with how I'm going to use it would just last all day. And, and then, so when I card it through, you know, if it's kind of a, a crowded uh, film set, I thought it'd be good to have this bell on here to, you know, politely get people out of my way. So then coming around here, what I have is a magic arm. And this is for uh, my monitor wireless monitor and there's uh, another mini quick release plate like on the opposite side where my boom pole clip is and then I can just slide my monitor on there real quickly so the whole idea is just to make it really fast and efficient uh, since there's I'm guessing more assembly than a normal sound cart so that's one thing I did there this is a, a little bendable light that I uh, attached to my clipboard for scripts and then I hang that here and I put a grommet there so the uh, um, the way I attach it doesn't make noise with the, uh, the metal. So, and then the other thing I attach is, or actually attach or unattach uh, when I set it up is um, the little hook for my uh, headphones there. And um, I think that's pretty much it. So I'm pretty happy how, how it came out. And I like the fact that it's um, ergonomic where you have uh, more space to put your legs than a, a normal sound cart and a normal sound cart has advantages uh, that this doesn't have but it's just something I wanted to do and I already had the stand and um, I just thought I'd uh, give it a go and, and see what I can do with this so I'm, I'm pretty happy how it came out all right well thanks for checking it out